we're going to start by dicing our onions. I peel the onion um, not too long ago, and I'm going to show you the proper way to cut an onion to where you're not cutting too much of the onion and you're releasing all those gases. So the onion had skin on it. I also had the membrane around it. So what I did was I only cut the top of it off and I cut where the root of the onion is. I cut just a little bit off and I left the root intact. You want the root intact because that is going to help you when you cut your onion. So you need a very sharp knife. What many people don't know is that when they have a dull knife, a dull knife is a very dangerous knife. Not only can you hurt yourself really badly by cutting yourself really badly, but it also releases a lot of gas when you cut an onion. So you want a very sharp knife. So you're going to take your onion and you're going to place it downright like that. And then you're going to take your hand, uh, this hand, if you're left-handed or right-handed, whatever hand you use, you're going to take this hand and you're going to create a thing called the bear claw. This is what we use in culinary school. This is what we use in the kitchen. And it's pretty much like a bear claw. You want your hand just like this. I know it looks funny. <laughs> I know it looks funny, but yeah, it works. So you want to create a thing called a bear claw. And you want to take your knife. So when you hold your knife, you want to have three of your fingers under the dip right here on the handle of the knife. And then you want to take your index finger and choke up on the knife like that. And then what you do with your thumb, you want to put it on the side, just like here, you want to press it on the side. And it's just like when you're holding a pencil. So when you let go of the pencil, or if you let go of the knife, you're still holding on to the knife. So again, you want to take your three fingers and you want to hold it under that handle of the knife. You take your index and your thumb and you choke up on the knife. And that is a proper way of holding the knife. That way you don't mistakenly cut yourself or hurt yourself for the belly. I know it's easy to do like this and cut like that. But the be like the proper way and the better way is to hold the knife exactly the way I'm showing you and cut. So we're just going to get into cutting. We're going to start. So you're going to take the onion and you're going to create your beer claw and you're going to slice down. You always want to have a flat surface. So right here was flat, and you always want to work and cut on a flat surface. If you don't cut on a flat surface, had I cut the onion on a round surface, I risk the chance of hurting myself even more. So now that our, onions, our onion is sliced in half, you want to put this off to the side, and you want to take one side of your onion. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move over a little further so you can see. We're going to take the knife and we're going to hold down onto the top of the onion. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a baby bear claw. So the baby bear claw will go right here at the top of the onion and you'll take your knife and you just want to go all the way through. It's like you're sawing, but you're not going all the way through. Just like when I cut, I went to about right here. It's not going through the onion, but the onion itself is still intact. So I just went... A little bit close to the edge but not too close to the edge and we're just gonna do that for about two more times and we're just gonna go all the way through and there you go you want to go all the way through which I did already and then you want to turn the onion towards you and you want to do your beer claw not on top but around it and you want to pinch it just a little bit and you want to take your knife and go down take your knife and go down Take your knife and go down. Take your knife, go down. Go down, go down, go down. And you can start to see your onion is starting to form, uh, form together. So when you look at the onion right here, it looks like a grid, right? And it looks like, you remember algebra in math class or trigonometry, they had X and Y axis. That's exactly what the onion looked like. And you want to do... And you want to do the exact same thing to the next part of the onion if you're using both sides. So you want to go in, go in, turn, go back down, go down, 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 and down. And there you have it. So now that our onion's ready, we're going to get to dicing it. So... You can dice if you want large uh, large onions, so you cut 
larger pieces, but I need small pieces of onions. So I'm going to adjust my knife and have small dices. So I'm just going to take my knife and you want to hold your, you want to hold your hand up a little bit and you want to push by sliding versus going like that or chopping like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to have the point of your knife to your cutting board and you want to pull back push forward and roll, pull back, push forward and roll, pull back, push forward and roll, pull, take, uh, <laughs> push forward and roll, pull back, push, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied. So we're just gonna do that and we're going to move into doing it very fast. So when you get to the end of the onion, you want to hold off on that part. So, so again, point, uh, point down, Pull back, push forward, point down, pull back, push forward, point down, pull back, push, uh, push forward. So I'm just going to move into doing it really fast. And once you get to this, once you get to the end of the onion, you can now chop the onion up. And you want to go around. So all that I'm left with is this little piece. And that is going into my composting pile. You just want to do the exact same thing to the other onion. And again, all that I'm left with is this little piece right here. And that's also going into my composting pile. I added, I'm not using onions for anything. I'm making a stock tomorrow, but... Um, already have a lot of onion skins so instead I am I added the skin of this onion into my composting pot so as you can see if you look you have like really nice dices I'm going to take these pieces out and I'm going to chop that down just a little bit more so you have like really really nice dices of onions there you go and you just if you have large pieces if that's not what you want you can always chop the onion down a little bit more. That is your choice. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. And don't don't copy me by using your knife to drag across the board on uh, with your blade. You want to use the back of your knife to bring your ingredients together. Using the back of your knife is a much better way than using the blade of your knife because you can dull your knife a lot faster by doing that. And we're just going to put our onions in this bowl right here. And there you go. Perfectly diced onions.